When you look at privacy in terms of where it goes, implantable technologies, what is the biggest crime in America? And people will say burglary or they'll say traffic violations. The biggest crime in America right now is identity theft. Identity theft is the biggest crime and also the least prosecuted crime in America. Using the latest high-tech skimming device, it can steal financial information from any smart card enabled with radio frequency identification, a computer chip in these cards allows users to pay for items by just tapping or waving them near a reader even without swiping. One well, of the best ways to protect yourself, invest in a lead-lined sleeve or wallet that blocks pocket skimmers. Also, keep on top of your credit card information by carefully watching and reporting any fraudulent charges. Or just don't have any wireless credit cards. That's that, the other option. That's simple. But what do they do? They come up with new kinds of cards. You know, they've got the smart cards now with embedded chips. Well, we're making the credit cards smarter and smarter. We're starting to put chips in those credit cards. And we're starting to even go into biometric ID so I can use my face or my voice or my fingerprint with that credit card. Um, national identification cards is one of them. You know, this is um, an article from uh, November 24th, uh, nine, uh, 2004, and it's the British headed towards a national ID card. Initially, it'll be a card form. Eventually, it will include a microcircuit because they're easy and they're cheap and they're positive IDs. Some changes will be easy to spot, but other security features will only be visible with a magnifying glass or if you're using a black light. Law enforcement officers will be trained to recognize those changes so they could spot the fix. Um, the military was one of the first to use them in their civilian and military personnel as a way to get in and out of bases, storing lots of information. Um, in the case of military, all their medical records can be stuck on a card, stuck on a chip. But as these things get smaller and smaller and information density gets bigger and bigger, it becomes easier to use this as primary identification. Everything can be, um, can be copied, but the idea of implantable technologies is really the direction in which we will eventually go. Farmers and ranchers use RFID technology in the form of implanted microchips to track their livestock. Many endangered wildlife species are RFID tagged for research. Okay. The technology also helps locate Fluffy and Fido. That's it. We're all done. A device that's about the size of a rice grain, and we implant that in their skin. And so that's Grace's number, and that will link her to a database. So if she's ever lost, they will be able to relocate her because it's the only way that you can assure an identity associated with an individual. Uh, cards can be taken, things can be falsified, technology is pretty universally distributed these days. Again, this is the, the direction that we see first militaries, heads of state. Uh, there was a story of, um, it was uh, uh, one of the South American presidents had lost his wallet. And what did he do? He called the NSA to find out exactly where he was all during the day because he had an implantable chip. Most heads of state do because if they get kidnapped you want to be able to find them immediately. And this is something that is used by very few today, but you're seeing more and more movements in this direction. And then later, um, implantable technologies is where people are, are believing this is going. Imagine an on-star system for the body. You and I have cars, we have a little you know, red light, check engine light. Imagine if when we had one for our body to detect, to prevent, and to uh, be reactive to health 
uh, to health event that happens in our day-to-day -day life. Another breakthrough that came together uh, this weekend at the XPRIZE Foundation Visionary Meeting. To make your life safer and better, whether your budget allows for simplified generic or a full Get ready models. to live your life without any risk or danger. You can live your life without limitations to make your life safer and better, whether your budget allows for simplified generic a miracle in the making. Trust. Invest in our new faith. Work harder. Tomorrow is the dawn of our new age. I pledge to be a servant to our president. I pledge to be of service to Barack Obama. Shut down Babylon. Shut down Babylon. I'm gonna.